What's up YouTube, LND here. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to auto run Daggerfall with the DOS box. So the first thing you need is Daggerfall in DOS box. Um, for DOS box, preferably the higher, well I should say the newest version of it that's out. I have um, 0.74. So that's the one I'll be showing you how to do it on. I'm not exactly sure if it'll work with the newer one. Um, I will put a link in the description for both DOSBox and Daggerfall. Um, Daggerfall will be on, like, I'm pretty sure it's an official Elder Scrolls website. You can download it for free along with Arena. Um, this auto run won't work for Arena as far as I know because you need to you, you use Daggerfall for it. So, and something else with the DOSBox is... I can't exactly remember for sure which website I got it off of, so I'm going to put a link in the description, but if you don't want to risk using your computer, maybe you should use a more reliable source or find someone else who knows for sure where they got it from, knows that it's not jank, um, just if you feel more comfortable doing it that way, I don't want to, I'm not going to be held reliable for somebody being like, oh, I'm going to download this, and then unleashes a virus up their ass and blames me for it so I highly suggest that you make sure that you're totally okay okay and don't blame me if something happens so yeah okay let's do this um what you're going to need to do is you need to go to your start and find um the, the DOS box options um, for me, it's not going to be right here because I have Windows 8.1, which the video entails. So I'm going to go to the side here and click search, and I'm just going to type in DOS box. Uh, there we go. Hey, DOS box doesn't... Okay, it's being weird. Um, let's, uh, let's try that again. Try DOS box instead of DOS docs. Okay. And when you open the DOS box options, which is what you have to click, you'll get a notepad like this. And what you're going to have to do is you have to scroll down here and to this line that says auto EXEC, which I'm going to be pretty sure that that's, that means like auto execution or whatever. And below these two lines, you, know, you have to type in mount C uh, like that. See if I screw this up. I want to type this in so you see what you have to do. Now, these folders are not going to be necessarily the same. I went in and renamed my folder for Daggerfall. So, wherever your extension for the Daggerfall game is, is where you're going to have to, um, what you're going to have to place in here for your game. Um, I'm pretty sure most people's folders for where Daggerfall goes automatically is game. Um, that's where mine is. That's where it seems like most other people's are. So that's what it's probably going to be. Dash free size. Uh, 10. And 24. And then you got a mount. I can spell mount right because I didn't hear. I'll put uh, a thing in the description for this so you don't have to type it out. You can just do it. You gotta mount that Dumble D because if you don't, you'll Dumble die. C slash games slash. Ah, oh, goddammit. Daggerfall. Um, slash D F C D. Dash T C D ROM Dash Label not with a capital L. Actually I don't really think it matters. It matters not add whatever I don't even know what the fuck it said. Daggerfall C C D Dagger Not Daggerfall, just Dagger. And then there's another thing that most people put here, but fall dot exe space z dot cfg is the one that only ever works for me if I put in the other one that's supposed to make it run it never does or it says I inserted the wrong CD so 
Then what you're going to want to do is you want to go to save, save as. You're going to want to save it to where your Daggerfall game is, mine's in game, and then the folder Daggerfall. Auto run text is what I already done. Um, I I can't get it get it to work this to work ex unless I use that text. So I'm not going to save this one. I'm going to make sure I use the one that it's already working. I'm just going to exit out. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your wherever your DOS box application exe is. So um, mine is in um, a programs 86 file. Just DOS box 70.74 and what you want to do after you get there is you're going to want to create a shortcut you should put it on your desktop you can put it wherever you want but it's more um, easy to get it to do this whatever on your desktop so what you want to do is right click and go down to properties um, then you're going to want to hold on my cat Watson extremely sorry about that Okay, well that fucked everything up. Let's go back to properties. This is what you have. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to identify um, your thing. Actually, real quick, i got to mention something. Um, I have done this quite a few times and always screwed up. Always launch DOSBox before you do this. Because it seems like for me, if I didn't launch DOSBox, it didn't work. So when you make the shortcut, launch DOSBox from the shortcut. Then go to properties, and then this is what you get. And then you're gonna want to identify the config file, so you're gonna want to go dash c o n f, and then two of these majiggies. Now I already have the file open, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to that Daggerfall folder, and you're gonna want to find that text that we created and saved here. You're gonna want to right-click that, go down to properties, go to the security tab. This right here is how we're going to get it to automatically run. You're going to want to copy that and close those out. You're going to put that right between here, paste it, and that should allow the thing to automatically run. Click apply, click OK, that'll close it out. And when you double click, as you can see, it'll now automatically run Daggerfall. So this time it happened like, like it was supposed to. So. Now that we got that done, let's uh, spruce up this so DOSBox looks like Daggerfall. Now I do want to mention something else. You can create multiple shortcuts and run DOSBox by itself. If you can figure out how to auto-run Arena, you can also make an auto-run for Arena. And you can have multiple things for an auto-run of Daggerfall. So, obviously that's true. Um... So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make this look like Daggerfall. So first of all, let's rename the shortcut to Daggerfall. Bam. Now, we're going to change the icon to the icon for Daggerfall, as you can see down here. We're going to want to go to Properties, Change Icon, and... What you're going to want to do is you want to go to your place where that Daggerfall thing is. I'm already at it, but I'll go back. Games. You go to Daggerfall. Just hold on a second, you punk, because I just let you in here. Um, Go to your DFCD. Data. My bad. Must be Dagger. And you find the Dagger.ico. You're going to want to not right-click that. You're going to want to open it or double-click it or whatever, and you'll see it here. Click OK, click Apply, and there you go. Uh, your Daggerfall shortcut auto run for DOSBox is finally finished. Um, so, yeah, that's how you auto run Daggerfall on DOSBox. I uh, hope this video was informative, and I hope it puts a cup, at least one more video, more than like the one I could find, on how to auto run it and actually do it right. Um, so, I hope it's helpful. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.